the voile damn it voile voile straps <laughs> I'm sure that if you are familiar with the bikepacking world, you have seen and heard of these straps. In this video, we're gonna find out, are they essential or are they overrated? Let's roll. Welcome back. I am Ryan from the Rad Bike Adventure, and today we're talking all about volet straps. Turns out I was pronouncing it incorrectly for a very long time. I was saying voile, but they are not a French company. They're actually a Utah-based company, and these are made in the USA, so that is super cool. They were originally made to hold skis together. The ski people figured out that to attach skis together, you just needed this tiny little strap, and it pulls against itself like so and you can put a lot a lot of tension on this thing and it will hold tight so once again because the first time i got this i was like how does this work so you're gonna take your strap put it through like that and with the hook end pointed that way pull it back through and that is where it's gonna stay locked in like that if you try to do it how was I trying to do it the first time? I was just going like this and just trying to like put it through the hole, you know? And I was like, how does that work? Like that's, that's not how it works. You need it to pull against itself. So these have become very, very popular in the bike packing world. And that is for a good reason. I actually found these to be incredibly useful straps. They're really, really durable. And unlike webbing, they don't stretch out over time. I mean, these things, they have a little bit of a stretch, but not much. It's like just enough to cinch down some gear. I also have three different sizes with me here. I've got a 15 inch Kona branded strap. I have the 20 inch and also a 25 inch. I personally like having the longer length if I'm gonna be strapping a, a big bag like this to my fork. Just gives me a little extra room to lash things down. So I really liked having this 25 inch one. 15 inch can be really nice to do something like secure your wheel like this if you're working on your bike or if you are working um, or if you wanna use a click stand or something and you want your wheel to stay and not be twisting all over the place. Or like in transport a few times, we've been on boats and things. So heavy uses. And I've just been able to lock my wheel in place so my wheel doesn't tip and then tip the bike over. You can just put it on and take it off so quickly. That is probably the reason that I like this strap the most is it's just really easy to use even when your hands are freezing. Um, unlike this kind of strap, the Blackburn one, which works fine. It comes with the rack. It's got this kind of like coated sticky side on the webbing. So it does lock onto your bag nicely. You should really have two strap, but um, when it's cold, this is definitely hard. Or if it's a tight fit and you want to snug it down, it's much more difficult to, you know, feed this through here. And again, just imagine your fingertips are icy. Get it through there and kind of like hold everything and then be cinching it down. I mean, it works fine, but again, when your hands are cold, it's really, really difficult to do that. So let's take the volet strap and do it with that instead. This is just a Blackburn cage. Actually, we should do a review of the Blackburn cage. So maybe we'll just do that now as well. I'll link it up here <laughs> once we get that done. Okay, so let's put this guy on. Oh, by the way, there are um, either a metal end or a plastic end. Yeah, this one's metal too. So I've got two metal one plastic. I haven't really noticed a difference in durability. They both seem to work really well. I don't know if one is lighter than the other. I think on the, the plastic ones, you can actually remove. Yeah, you can. You can actually remove this. I don't know if that is of use to anybody that you could like switch this out for a different color. So yeah, plastic, metal. I haven't really found a difference, but let's show how we can strap this guy on and how easy it is. Before we do that, let's check out everybody's favorite subject, the weight. So if you want to put it through there, it is kind of nice because it'll just stay in place, but you could just go like that. And so again, you're just like imagining that your fingers are really cold. This is much easier to only have to feed one thing through. And then you're just going to hold this and you can just easily cinch it super, super tight and get a really, really snug fit. 
and then tuck this away if need be. So I just really find this to be a essential piece of gear for myself now. They run about $7 each and at first I thought like $7 for a strap that's kind of insane but now that I see how well it works and how durable it is, I think it's well worth it. So this is the this is the 15 inch and this 15 inch strap actually seems really perfect for strapping a Nalgene bottle to your cage there. Okay, one more thing about the volet straps, volet <laughs> straps that I forgot to mention is that you can daisy chain them together. So if you have two shorter straps and you need to lash down something giant sized like a big bag of chips, which we had to do during our trip, daisy chain them together like this. So now you have one longer strap and voila. <laughs> could this be used as a sling? This could be part of your first aid kit too. <laughs> There we go. Look at that. First aid kit. Hopefully it would never come to this, but it works. Daisy chain volet sling and a tourniquet for the, hopefully never do I ever have a snake bite. Yeah. I can make this tourniquet with my volet strap. That is pretty tight. So in conclusion, I do find the volet straps to be an essential piece of my kit. They have been very, very useful in my travels thus far, and I'm hoping that they come along for many more journeys to come. All right, that's it for now. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and gently tap that subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this. And remember to rat on. Excuse me. I can leave and get work done. Yeah, these cute puppies playing. Oh.